Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it does not matter what you drive. This is your All-Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. And today is track day. That is right. Today is Chevy Corvette Z06 time here on the channel. And while I'm not going to be the channel that goes into all the little gearing and the deep, deep dive of this car, I will be a channel that gets excited by this. Like, it's exciting that GM is, like, building something. Well, they're not... They're still building naturally aspirated engines. And this one is freaking ridiculous. And we're going to get into the numbers as we all watch the video here in a minute. But I'm just pumped. Like, it's getting so expensive to build any type of car anymore. And for GM to put a lot of money into the Stingray, the, you know, the whole mid-engine, that's a completely new chassis for them. Like, just a new, new platform altogether. And then for them basically a year and a half later to bring out the Z06 and well the numbers are pretty freaking ridiculous. So let's get into this video and uh, let's see the car zoom zoom and uh, let's talk some numbers. The 2023 Z06, that is right. This thing is a great looking car and, and the Stingray has always been so they're just making it slightly better. Now this is a track beast. If you want something for the drag strip, buy the regular Stingray and have fun with it that way. If you want to go to the track, have track days, go for the weekend, this is the car for you. Now the 5.5 liter LT6 engine that is naturally aspirated is 670 horsepower. It's the most GM's ever done in a production vehicle like this. 460 foot pounds of torque, which is slightly down versus the 6.2 liter, but this isn't a drag strip car. Once again, this thing is about horsepower getting you around the turns and down the straightaways like that. Now we're getting a dual clutch eight speed transmission, which I'm assuming they've beefed up quite a bit because I know the people that are building the uh, Stingrays are having a little bit of slippage with that old transmission, but 175 plus more horsepower is going to make you super, super happy. Now, 20 inch wheel up front, 21 inch in the rear, and a 345 in the rear of this thing. It's massive, it's the biggest tire they've ever done. And you're getting a hand-built engine now. So these are gonna be low production numbers, but it's gonna be a high-end vehicle. And I am super, super pumped about this thing. So there you have it, the Z06. Is it impressive to you, or is, or is it just like, well, we're getting into a weird territory with uh, what GM calls obtainable cars now. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. And as always, whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, man, these Z06s, I really want to drive. This has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.